Welcome to the AI Breakdown Brief, the AI headlines you need to know today in five minutes or less. Step back, chat GPT, there is a new contender in town. Well, sort of. Inflection AI has just launched its new personal AI called Pi. Now, this is a company that's raised something like $285 million. It shares a co-founder with LinkedIn and Reid Hoffman, as well as another co-founder of Google DeepMind. So it's got a lot of clout behind it. The idea of Pi is that it's supposed to be more personal. The CEO, Suleiman, says it's very balanced and even-handed on political issues or sensitive topics, but it can also sometimes be funny and creative. This is what it looks like. And part of what makes it different or is trying to be different is that it remembers context from your previous conversations. And in some ways, it feels much less like a competitor to a chat GPT, which is helping people code or write copy. And instead, something akin to the call any app that we demoed on this channel a few days ago. Now, whether people actually want that out of their AI remains to be seen. Next up, TikTok is considering a new content label for AI-generated content. This is becoming more and more important as AI content is on the rise. Now, part of this is driven by things like the absolutely viral Drake tracks that have been coming out and flooding all over TikTok, but part of it's in a response to fake photos like this one that went viral from Selena Gomez at the Met Gala when Selena Gomez didn't go to the Met Gala. I think you're going to see a lot more companies take steps like this AI consideration in the months to come. Now, bringing it back to ChatGPT, there is a new plugin called Code Interpreter that a lot of people are getting really excited about. The neuron here says that people are saying that Code Interpreter rivals junior level data analysts. Basically, this allows you to upload a CSV file and the interpreter then one provides suggestions for visualizations and analysis, but then actually does them. So an example that they give is someone uploaded a CSV of San Francisco crime data and got bar charts over time, heat maps of distribution, scatter plots of incidents. This is a pretty amazing tool if you think about the way that data can be visualized for more high impact sharing. And while this might be worrying for data analysts who are seeing their job prospects change before their eyes, it could be a democratizing force for how data can be useful in society, which in and of itself demonstrates the good and the bad, the challenge and the opportunity of AI in one small little example. Speaking of the challenge of AI, Samsung has banned staff use of generative AI after a data leak into chat GPT. So this data leak happened last month and Samsung got very concerned about it, and this is part Part of a larger trend of companies being concerned with their proprietary data being fed into ChatGPT. Now, of course, OpenAI has announced that they have a forthcoming business version of ChatGPT that tries to address this problem by having it be private by default. They also just announced a private mode for everyone else as well. So OpenAI is trying to solve this type of issue. But for the meantime, Samsung has banned generative AI in the workplace on workplace devices. Finally, yesterday we discussed how the White House is taking a bigger and bigger interest in AI, and that seems to be validated in the news that Vice President Kamala Harris is set to discuss AI in a meeting with the CEOs of companies including Google, Microsoft, OpenAI, and Anthropic on Thursday. Now, interestingly, this doesn't appear to be a press event type of meeting because it wasn't announced by the White House. It was something that CNBC got their hands on the invitation. The CEOs who have been invited aren't commenting on it, so hopefully they actually have the chance to have a productive discussion. That's it for today's Breakdown Brief. If you are enjoying the AI Breakdown, please subscribe to the channel or go share it on Twitter. And I'll see you back here for the full breakdown a little later today.